hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl cc and we are back at it again today with another video and in today's video we are going to be reacting to the story of bilal now i know that bilal was the first person who done the call to prayer um i don't really know much about him um that is literally the only factor that i know about him and yeah so i've heard it a lot i've heard about bilal a lot a lot a lot but i've never actually said okay let me go and do research about him learn more about him or anything so yeah um this is his story let's get straight into it shall we Muhammad teaches you a slave is equal to his master. <laughs> is black Bilal, who I paid money for, equal to me? Yes. Muhammad says, before God, all men are as equal as the teeth of a comb. This is a very pleasant idea to slaves and beggars. It gives them pretensions. Bilal. Teach this man the difference between a lord and make us a slave. Take that whip. Lash his face to teach his mouth a lesson. Whip him! Whip him! they bring. They've even infected our slaves. If you're human enough to have gods, remember, you are gods of your own. I bought your humanity below when I bought you. You will be corrected. This one god of yours. There is only one god. There is no god but God. And my family is the messenger of God. Protect the prophet! There is no god but God. And my family is the messenger of God. But there's something missing. Maybe a bell to call the people in. The Christians use a bell? Hmm. What about a horn? Like the Jews? A drum. There's too much blood in a drum. Why not the human voice? As in Omar ibn Khattab's vision. The prophet agrees. He means you, Bilal. Me? You have a good voice, use it. Climb up there. Allah, 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 Allah,
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا I can't believe that's just it. <laughs> I was expecting more. But wow. That's the story of Bella. I'm honestly so touched by his story. Like how everything started off in the beginning. It was like, you know, he he didn't want to hit nobody. And he's also stood by his word saying that there's only one God. And when you do that, <laughs> it takes a lot of courage to stand up for yourself in those type of situations. So him standing up for himself is so great, is so amazing. And of course, he, he got rewarded at the end. You know, he stood out amongst all the crowd. He was the only person who was recognized for his voice. And from there, he began to do the azan. So, hmm. And I remember just about a week ago or so, I came across um, something to do with slavery and Islam. And I was like, slavery, um, Islam condo slavery. I was shocked. I was like, what? Because the only religion that I know that condones slavery is Christianity. And what does Christianity do? It tells you you are allowed to beat your slaves as long as they don't die. And when I read the Quran, I come out, I, I've come across a few uh, verses that basically state that, you know, you should treat your slaves the same or, yeah, you should treat your, sl your slaves the same or if you have something that you can give to your slave like give you know you'll be rewarded for it and all that stuff so you know when you see these things and it's like wow and then you come across the story of Bilal who is a slave and then becomes the first person to do the azan and from there the azan has been going on so see the movement that he has created see how amazing he has turned out a slave who was beaten up for standing up for himself and standing up for God. Very difficult, especially when you're in such situations, to say, for example, sometimes when I see all these things that's going on in a third world um, Muslim countries, I'm like, why don't they just say they're Muslims? Um, why don't they just say they're from a different religion? Try to save themselves. And now I I realize how ignorant and how stupid and how silly menta my mentality was, because no matter what, when you are put under pressure, when you're put in front of people, stand up for your religion, stand up for God, stand up for your beliefs. Yeah, don't try to hide away from it because you fear that you're going to die. Now, I remember a verse in the Quran states that whoever dies as a consequence of defending Allah or defending God gets an automatic pass to heaven. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. I read that myself in the Quran. When I was reading it, I read it somewhere and I was like, well, it's either in chapter, it's somewhere, probably, most likely in chapter three, most likely somewhere in chapter three. And I was like, wow. This is so touching and this is so amazing. Like standing up and defending God or standing up and defending Allah, you get rewarded for. And now I'm just like, I was so stupid to think that way. I honestly remember, I was like, why don't they 
like the people that are getting put in concentration camps and all that stuff i was like why don't they just um say that they are christians or say that they are from a different religion but once they've done that and they're set free they go back to different to um being muslim or being whatever religion i was like why don't they just do that so that they don't get put in these concentration camps and i, I look back and i'm like why did i think that way why did i think that way god is going to punish you for denying him so yeah the story of Bilal is very, very interesting and very touching indeed. I knew that he was a slave and yeah, but I didn't know that this was what led to the Azan or what led to his faith, let's say. But um, thank you all so much for tuning in today. I hope you guys learned something new. If you didn't, I certainly got to learn a bit more about Bilal. So yeah, thank you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you all and take good care of yourselves. Bye!